Good morning, everybody. Um, hope you had a wonderful night rest. I just had an experience that um, I wanted to speak about. And is of expedience that people listen to what I'm talking about. Because hmm, this is a pandemic that people are not taking cognizance of. When we have people, youths that would stay on the social media and be writing all sorts of things about the elderly. Hmm. Anu shemi. All in the bit of way I support particle, I support particle. We have lost our values. We have lost our values in the next years to come. I want more mama ta won't be one ni I want more. One mama tie out the, the, the norm will be for children to disrespect parents. Not to have any form of value for them. All in the bid of modernization. We are, we are, we are becoming more, more advanced, more modern. Where are our value system? What happened to our value system? Isn't this bad? How did it degenerate to this? How did it degenerate to this? Somebody as young as a girl coming on my page to, to, to write crap? For what? And people will say all sorts. Ah, hey. Hey, Moti was saying something. This is a pandemic that people are not even seeing. In the next years to come, we will have a crisis. We will have crisis in our hands. Because I do not understand when those, two, those, those these youths, when they start having kids, what kind of kids are they going to be raising? How are they going to raise their kids? What happened to our value system? The person that even wrote that is even a Yoruba person. No more Yoruba. Yoruba to also Yoruba lenu. Ha! Ejo! Ejo! Ema jeka so. Ema joka. Ejo ma so lenu also. Oh, 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 fwe apo yakoni. Please. I am begging. I'm not saying this because of me. Because I've said it and I'm saying it again. I beg everybody with everything you hold there. Don't come to my page to say rubbish show. I am a disciplinarian. I won't take it for granted. But I won't let it fly. Everybody has begged me and I have accepted. I'm not doing anything to her. But I, I'm, I'm looking for a scapegoat. I'm not joking. I'm looking for a scapegoat that will come to my page and say rubbish. We've got to my don't Don't come to my page at all. Listen, I don't I might have hundred followers. I don't care. Because my life is not based on social media. I have a better life ahead of me. Be devoid of social media. Please, I beg you, don't come to my page and say rubbish. I have said it before. I'm gonna be very, very wicked on it. I beg you, please. If you want to be civil with me, if you want me to be a big sister, if you want me to be a mom, if you want to be, me to be a friend, very good. We'll be friends. If you need help, I will, whatever thing I can support for my own, the little I can do, people that know me knows that I do what I can do. But I'm going to be very, very livid with anybody that comes to my page to say rubbish. I beg you with everything all day. Please let us respect ourselves. And to the youth, people that are encouraging things, people that are encouraging bullying, am I enjoy it? But when the repercussion comes, people will know that, ha, this woman said it. In the next five years, and one more, one mama feet, my jia won't be one. In the next five years, one mama feet, one mama feet, my jia won't be one. They will beat their parents to stupor because there won't be any value system anymore. And this is what we are breeding. And everybody is excited with breeding this kind of nonsensical behavior. Let us continue. People that are bullied, continue to bully. You will bully people that are old enough to be your mother, to be your mother's mother. And you expect everything to be okay. Everything cannot be okay with me. Oh. Everything cannot be okay with me. I beg all of you, please, do not come to my page. It's not normal things. It's not normal things. It's abnormal. It is abnormal. When we wake up in the morning, I'm a dobale, I'm a kunle, I'm a ki, I won't be wani. We will greet them well. I train my children to still speak Yoruba fluently. What my son Yorubani? You will see my kids and you will not say that these kids are, are raised any, anywhere. Because they know that 
Respect is sacrosanct to me. I do not take it for granted. I do not take it for granted. I'm a disciplinarian. I was taught by, my mother was a teacher. My mother is a teacher. My husband is a teacher. So value to me is everything. If you do not understand value and you cannot, you cannot respect value, please don't come to my page. If you are following me, unfollow me. I beg you. I don't want it. Because if you say anything stupid on my page, the repercussion will be very grave. And I'm not joking. I am not joking. The people that are truly my followers know what I stand for. I stand for value. I stand for what is right. I stand for true education. I stand for culture. I do not take nonsense. I am not a nonsense. I'm not a slave queen. I am myself. I am Foluke Daramola. Take me the way you see me. What you see is what you get. Please, please, and please, let us be guided. Please. But I am saying it again. Because <laughs> what we are doing, influencers, you have a lot that you are doing wrong on this. Influencers, please, our value system is losing track. We are losing it. We are losing it. Uh, we are obedient. We are batified. We are this, we are that. that is beyond, it's beyond that. What we, I am talking about is our value system is gradually dying. Please, 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 and please. Take note, take heed. A jaw, a jaw. Am I the connected? Oh, my bad, the big pay. Oh, my mama, you're a bossy baba. Oh, my mama, you're a bossy ya. Oh, my mama, so far, you are very stupid. Oh, my so you are very stupid. You are mad. You are this, you are that. At the end of the day, it's going to get worse, it's not going to get better. This is a, is, a, is a pandemic that is even worse than COVID. It's worse than COVID if you're not careful. It is worse than COVID. Because by the time you realize what's happening, oh, my bad. Oh my bad, eh, we believe people are ancient. I want to see me. I want to believe people are ancient. See, eh, understand people are ancient one. I like it like she. What you are doing now is going to affect you. It's going to have serious repercussion on you later. Because consider that here, if I bossile, no matter where you are, even abroad. I watched a video. I watched a video sometime. The um, the, um, the boy was from uh, went to call police on his on his mother, and the policeman told him, if it's my mother, she will spank you more. So go back in there and do what you're meant to do. That is value. You know you So Nigeria, social media, uh, paparazzi, we are trending, we are happening. Oh, oh, I know you shame me. It's better you heed, heed the word now. Value, our value system is dying. Our value system is gradually dying. Let us take heed. But please, do not come to my page to say rubbish. I beg you. The worst you can do is unfollow yourself on my page. I'm not, I, don't, I don't want... I don't, whoever follows me, it's fine. Whoever doesn't follow me, fine. Please, I beg you. God bless you. God bless Nigeria. The ones that truly are my fans, I love you absolutely. And I, I believe that we're, we're going places. But please, people that are doing rubbish, stop it. Stop it. Please. Thank you. One of the things that they use as um, a reason. tool to be rude to us is uh, Shebi is your generation that spoiled the country. That spoiled the country. Mm -hmm. They are forgetting that we go are victims mm. of the people who spoiled the country. country. Because like me, I've never been in government before. I've never... I, as they are describing it, in fact, I have a father who was singing against it. Mm, they were beaten where, where, where. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. <laughs> we watch our, our father being beaten, being jailed, being yes. everything. So, you, you are now... So, if, if you insult me, mm. first, there, there's this girl that came on... When I was talking about... Um, what was I talking about? A deal breaker mm. in my love life mm. for me. And uh, one of these blogs posted it. She now came to my own page to come and tell me, shut up. Ah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the, the reason I saw it was because she tagged me and I, ah, why? What did I do to this one? <laughs> I don't want to delete the text because I don't want that kind of text. If I leave, if you insult me and you see it continuously on my page, it's because I haven't seen it because I don't go there much. Right. Right. But then I want to say again that if they're insulting you, because for look at Daramola, I like her, she's everything, I talk to her. But I remember when she insulted me.
Because <laughs> I just Googled her now. Yeah. She's 45. Yeah. I'm 62. And we did a job. I, the I, animation called me to do a job. Girls Night Out that time. Hey. How many years ago? This is like maybe 30. Oh, wow. I'm 62. I guess about 30 yeah. something years, 20 something years. Long time ago. I, I was only doing what they asked me to do. I didn't take money for the job. I did the job and I did the job well. But the enmity I got from her oh. was terrible. Mm. So I'm, I'm wondering if she remembers. Mm. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Because it was done to you. Because it was done to me. Right. Mm. Now, because now she's demanding respect. So it's the same cycle. Probably when, so it's just... It seems the cycle will continue to get yeah. worse. Mm. You know, it's, you, 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 you reap what you sow. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. So I um, remember karma. You say leveler. They find, ah, find everybody. There are some places where ah, you don't report you. So. Ah, sorry, I will give you one I example. I will give you one example. Just this one. My ex husband. Well, he used to be there. I used to complain. Now, my grandson has the same sinus problem. And he's doing it to me. So I'm just saying, ah, let me say, go ahead, the cash me. <laughs> Thing. I had a brother who was, ah, I couldn't stand it. My husband married the man that does it every day. Ah. Oh. But you see, I want, I want us to bring it back to how we can be, how young people can behave better. Mm. So for me, I think that we are raising a generation of children. We are raising a generation of people. They're not children. Some of them are not children. Yes. That lack resilience, lack respect, and have personal... Um, um, grievances, and grievances with the world and so for them it is I am here to fight the world mm. but the world the world is not going to stop for you the world will not wait for you to get yourself together the world is not going to it will never be ideal mm. and sometimes the challenges are preparation for you to grow strength but we don't want to face challenges we want it easy 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 my pastor says microwave generation just pop it in it comes out it's done that's not life some areas will be like that. Some you would have to make the fufu through the long process. You would stir the fufu on the fire for a long time. It gets harder before it becomes the real fufu that you want to eat that is easier and delicious. So we must raise people to understand that journey. <clears throat> and most importantly, we must raise people to understand the fact that not everybody would be your friend or like you. Not if your, your boss liking you is a bonus. You are at the job to do a yeah. job. Mm. Your boss liking you is a bonus. Mm. Yes, take it. Some good bosses, it. some bad bosses. And, and it is part of life. You can't yeah. choose that all your bosses will be good yeah. or that all your experiences will be sweet. Mm. You have the sour and you have the sweet. It balances out. I'll show life. you an experience. Let me take this call from Shala from Gikorudu. Good morning, Shala. Are you there? Yeah. You're yeah, Go ahead, please. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, this, this stuff is very interesting, but it's quite unfortunate where we find ourselves are in this country. Modernization and uh, uh, exposition has totally destroyed our cultural value. But if you haven't said that, you see, I must say this. Those are what, what actually is happening right now with our youth, with our younger ones. It depends on the background. The background you have and the upbringing. I want to cite an example. My father was not exposed as I am. And uh, I was born in the north. I came from uh, Iluki, Ubumosho to be precise. I was born in Jos, grew up in Jos, and migrated to Lagos State. I have all my children in Lagos State. Now, some of the children are growing up. The way I brought them up, I brought them up the way I was brought them the state. If my children, if my children wanted to greet me in the morning, they put that on their knees, they prostrate. One of the examples is I have a son brother, which I am older than with just two months. I'm approaching my sixties now. Up to tomorrow, if this my brother saw me on the on the ground and greeted me, I always it was difficult. I think it was very unclear. It wasn't, it wasn't very clear. Let me show you a story. Um Mr. Ladin Jacob. Young, she's the director of News here at TVC, and she was popularly known as the General. People have called her for years. You know, she's worked in several news stations as director, and she had that reputation. Ah, the General is coming. There was that fear, General. And I mean, I didn't know her then, but 
when I recently went to Abuja and I saw Mark Wayne, Mark Wayne living that works in Channel TV. Mark Wayne gave me a whole bag to give to Stella Dean, like a whole bag for her, for, for, you know, for, for her, her baby. I was like, what's the relationship with you? She said, ah, the general. Okay. Back then, she was part of those who had trained me. She now gave me the story how she went, when she got the job, almost when she was reading the damn, they just threw her in the deep, deep end without even Stella Dean knowing at the time to worry the news. I said, I think was shouting at her on TV. She said she was shaking like a jellyfish. <laughs> she was shaking.